So today we're going to install our Battleborn lithium batteries and hopefully I make Stacy happy so she can run whatever she needs to. So I'm here with Lance from Wheeling with the Wendy's who is the technical guru that I called for our Battleborn lithium battery install. I can tell you right now that I am no professional when it comes to electricity and or any of this install. Lance is a DIY professional. That's why I called on him because he had already done it with his rig. If you've seen our video where we did a tour of his rig, you'll see his nice Battleborn setup in there. You can see why I called on one of the best to put in the best. So did a lot of homework, a lot of research, and Battleborn was the chosen company that we wanted to go for. We liked the fact that they were assembled here in the USA. They were designed and assembled here in the US. You can charge these bad boys three to 5,000 times, I believe so. So one of, the, one of the things that I really liked about them, in our last rig, we had these batteries mounted under our bed inside. There's no need to vent them, and there's no maintenance to them. You don't have to keep distilled water levels right and check all that. <laughs> right. They can be laid on their side. They could actually be hung upside down if you decided to do that. Another good thing about them is that the depth of discharge can be taken down to zero. They have a built-in BMS battery management system and gone are the days of AGM and lead acid batteries where you've got to watch where you are and only take them down to 50% so you don't kill them. These, there's no worries about them. You just use them until they either die out or until you want to have your generator kick on, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, that, that is a huge plus because those lead acids, they worried me that I would let them get down too low and then I would destroy them. Oh, it um, takes one time. Yeah, so putting the, the water in, I mean, I, I, although I had to check them once a month to make sure the battery was up, now I just drop them in and forget about it. So that, I'm really excited about that. That's one of the best, one of the best things. And lastly, one of the best things that we found with working with Battleborn is their customer services off the chart. Um, they answer emails, they answer the phone, they're always willing to help. No question is a dumb question, especially from this newbie. So and top Sean notch. And Diane and Jesse, all, all, everybody there's great. Yeah. All right, so part of the prep work when we were designing the battery bay and how we were going to configure it, I wanted to do every, I wanted to rip out the old and put in new and that in, it included new cables. Making the cables was not that hard. Uh, I was sweating bullets beforehand, not knowing what it went into it. And it really was, you know, a couple, two, three steps and boom, your cable was done. More time than anything. We ordered the cables, the lugs, everything, and we made it from, you know, from scratch. We cut them to length so that they fit in the bay so that it was, in Lance's terms, prettier. And Lance, one thing I love about Lance is everything's got to be in its spot, in its space, uh, and it has to be lined up. I liked it, and I had told him when I saw his system that if ever I did mine, I wanted it to look like that. And I was referring to his and yours looks better. Well, I don't know about it. There's a few there's a few mistakes I, I saw in there, and I'm sure you saw many more. All right, so I'm pulling out the last lead acid battery, which weighs 61 pounds. The Battleborns are half this, 31 pounds. So we're gonna save some weight there as well. Here we go. They are officially out of Ruby. The beauty of these batteries is that they're really drop in. You can take out the batteries that you have and use the same cables. And as long as your charger supports lithium, which most of them do now, it's literally a drop in. And it, that's what we wanted. We, for me, I wanted it as, as easy as I could. I'm a plug and play kind of guy. And these batteries are pretty much that. Drop them in, connect them, and you know, you're back up and running. Have you gone with a couple less? They would have really been drop in because they would have fit in your, True. In your bay. True but depending on the charger that you have, depending on your equipment, you would have to check with those manufacturers to make sure that whatever settings need to be changed for lithium are right, right for your float, your your bulk charging, your absorbing, all that kind of stuff. That each one's going to be a little bit different. Woohoo! We're done. Yeah. Six hundred amp hours of Battleborn lithium just went inside Ruby, and let me tell you what: it couldn't have happened without Lance. That's for damn sure. It was his idea, his creativity on how we were going to work in, in such a small space. The four uh, lead acid batteries that we, that we had in here um, in the beginning sat inside a battery tray. Well, these six didn't quite fit in the battery tray. So we came out here, Lance scratched his head a few times, and we had usable space in the back of the bay 
where the tray didn't go all the way back and that's when Lance said, we can build a tray and that's what we came up with. Yeah, so we did a three quarter inch plywood base and wrapped it with an uh, inch and a half aluminum angle to kind of hold everything together, even though we put straps on it. And we've got probably a half inch in the back and a half inch in the front. Everything worked out really well. Yeah, and the, the, the drawer, uh, the battery tray will still slide in and close. And the good part is I don't ever have to pull it out again. This is a phenomenal setup. I can't wait till we can get out and boondock and test this baby out. Yesterday was all about our new Battleborn lithium batteries. And today will be all about inverters. So we're going to swap out our 2000 watt Magnum inverter for our 3000 watt hybrid inverter. Two big benefits is gonna be you have a thousand more watts of power, which will allow you to run more at one time. And the big thing with the being hybrid is that it offers load support. So you could be on 30 amp service. And if you need to draw more than 30 amps, it'll pull from your batteries, the extra five amps, the extra 10 amps, whatever it is you need. And all that makes Stacy happy. swapped out a Magnum 2000 watt, we put in a Magnum hybrid 3000 watt. So there was some settings that we had to change. And what do you see there, what's it asking for? Float charging, float charging absorb, 14.4. Yep, that's correct, you want that to be uh, 14.4. Okay. And what's the next setting? Okay, so this is, what this is, this is like the last thing that we have to do. Um, the, the question that we need to determine now is when do you want in order to start charging the batteries again after they've already been charged to a full state and you've been using them. So re rebuild just means, hey, we've brought the batteries to full and now you can use the power. At what point do you want us to start recharging again after you use them? Yeah, I usually set it to about 70%. You know, after the battery's full and you start using it, in order to kick in, it, I mean, for me, I think it's 70% is good. And so that means in the voltage range would be 13.2. All right, let me crank it up. It had 12, so 13.2, okay. All right. And that's it. That's it. You're set. Damn, that was easy. Yeah, not too bad, huh? Okay. Well, I am I think I'm good. So we did have to make a phone call when we were setting ours up to Battleborn, and I was, you know, I had the settings in. We were good to go, and it was a couple, three steps, I think, three or four different steps. The customer service was was that fast it got us up and running regardless of what system you've got they've tested it with all of them so they've they've got all the parameters for everything yeah really, i, I really tell you it down. the more we dug into battleborn the company how they work how they run the more impressed we were um and after getting them and putting them in i think we'll be even more impressed with the company itself you have no idea what you're in for i i, I bring it i'm ready I'm so I'm no Stacy's ready. So one of the other things that we installed was the Victron 712 BMV. I believe that's the right name for the the battery monitor, for lack of a better term. Um, and the reason I chose the 712 was so I could play with it on my phone, um, and that I did. So after we got it all hooked up, got the Bluetooth running, we actually unplugged from the pedestal, and because we wanted to test it out, we wanted to see how everything worked. And we were unplugged for 18 total hours. So I basically took my batteries down to 50%, just cuz. And in the process of doing that, we used the coffee pot, the microwave, the flat iron, the electric heater, heater was on overnight. Uh, so we used all these things that we wouldn't have been able to use um, on our lead acid batteries. Uh, and if we did, we probably would have been dead in the water had we tried them. So we were super stoked that we could go 18 hours without having to plug into the pedestal. And more importantly, when we're out boondocking, we know that we can go at least 18 hours plus without having to turn on our generator. Where before, we were running our generator just about every 10 hours, I think, just so we could maintain our batteries. So we are super stoked that we have the system in place. We are ready to go boondocking some more ready to hit a few more harvest hosts, 
uh, we're ready to get off grid and take our Battleborns and our Magnum Hybrid and put them to the test. So we hope this video is useful and it helps you in your decision making when it comes to your electrical upgrades. Don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to give the thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you get more of these great videos. Now, get, get out, out there, there and stay, stay out, out there. there. Do I look stupid? Do I need to get lower? You're brilliant. Just talk. I'm brilliant. You're a wise ass. And cute. I wanted to incorporate Sean's get out there and stay out there, but oh, I, yeah. couldn't, I couldn't figure yeah, out. Yeah, why don't you? I know, how I got to. How about instead of we'll see you on the we'll road, how about get, get out, out there and, and stay, stay out there. So and we both can say it. Say it. We'll say it. So yesterday was all about lithium to. You're yelling. Like thought, really yelling. I thought I had to. No. Oh. And hit the notification bell. <laughs> and we will. Oh no! I can't oh, say see you. you. Don't I can't say. <laughs> what you can't see is Stacy stuffed in the storage bay behind us. Sure they can. There ah. she is. All right. Wait. Oh, I like it. How about that? Like that was it. good. That was awesome. Yesterday it was all about lithium. Today is all about the inverter. I gave you a laundry list of stuff oh, to talk about. Okay. It doesn't matter. Do you still do it? <laughs> now, get out yep. there and. <laughs> Both of you guys are all scared. Now you gotta say it. Hit the like and. I'm not used to doing that. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs>